Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to present tab control or you can say tab menu. Along with this, you will see auto layout, component set, card, icon set with swap instance, date filter as a toggle. So let's start with an example. So this is the report screen. Uh, generally we are showing in a dashboard and which is having the different tab like uh, today's report weekly report monthly and yearly so uh, while tapping on the week it will uh, show the weekly report and monthly and the yearly and the date filter it will work like this while i tapping on here it is getting toggle or either if you selected the date so it will get toggle So let's start to explore how to create tab control. So here I have created this with the two pages. Uh, one page is having the just a UI of the final screen and the second is the components. So this is the easiest way to organize the file where we can have all those component in one place and the final screen in the front section so look at the component how to create the tab menu so for creating the tab menu here i have created first the button for the tab which is like a first active button and uh, then this is the default button which is having the corner radius the same way it is having the hover effect which is just having the color effect and then the last tab which is having the corner radius in the right side so the same uh, button i have used here and created the different active tab like here it is today is active in a second tab week month and year so now moving to the next the card card is created in a manner where we can enter the values and the entry so here entry is like uh, customers and the different like uh, average sales and all and then the values is like uh, um, the customer number of customers average sales and then the icon so this icon is having this icon set so this instance is called here in this component and we can switch the icon easily like here it is an icon which is the like a instance so we can change from here user to any other icon so for creating the uh, icon set just uh, we need a different icons and placing with the same uh, uh, height and width and then we can have the component set so we can create the component set uh, from here so it is already created so once we have the different uh, like a frame or the small icons we select all and we can create the component set which i will show how to create and uh, then this is the date filter which is having the two variant uh, like a default and the toggle so this uh, interaction is given here and then finally the report page so report page this is uh, created with the auto layout so like uh, here also i have used the same way uh, like a uh, section and within the section means uh, i have created different uh, screen which is having the report section uh, where the first one is like a today 
record then weekly monthly and yearly and later I convert it to the component set and given the interaction so you can see this interaction is given here and then finally I can call that component here suppose uh, if I just delete this so I can call that from the asset here is the report section and which is having that four variant so once I will switch to the two so the second tab will get uh, highlighted and third and then finally fourth so suppose if I'm taking this instance So it will set on here with the four. And uh, the interaction which I have given on the component, it will uh, fetch that all interaction. So once it is in uh, this auto layout frame, automatically it will set the height and width and padding in between. So suppose let's preview this. So here now it is the year which is uh, activated and then month then week and today and this is the date filter as working as it was so uh, this is the easiest method to create this and if I want to switch in between or swap this it is easy like uh, it will change to the one two three is month and the fourth so let's see how to add uh, more tabs here so this is the tab menu which i have created and here i'm going to um, just make one more variant so here i have this variant which I am going to keep the name as 5 and here uh, this is the tab uh, button which is like uh, first one is active and I will make this first one default and uh, one more I need to add here so I will select this this is the tab and just copy this so this will be the tab 4 so next tab it is fifth one so you can see the fifth one is added here and in this fifth one I will make this active so here it is given last last tab active so now we can have this and uh, if you want to change the name here easily we can write the label suppose I am giving the name all so all will appear here so now if I want to call this tab menu which is the newly uh, fifth variant so how we can call so here in this section we have the tab so here is the fifth one easily we can call that and Is we can see the hub container so now uh, this is the easiest uh, way to create 
and call the component so easily i can select here like a today so it will switch uh, accordingly and uh, if i look at the prototype so it will have all those interaction here so once i have done with the single page or a single screen we can have the just copy of the second one and we can enter the data so how the card is having the so here values which is like a here given and this is the entity which is like customers and here this is the icon which is easy we can easily in, uh, swap this like here it is a user so we can change to the person calculator or related which is given here so the manner of the like uh, creating this tab system if in future if we want to change anything in uh, like a color or a font it is easy to do that and just uh, i'm giving one example here like uh, this is the card which is having the over effect here so instead of uh, i have given just a effect as a shadow and i'm just changing the shadow as an inner shadow so now it is changed to the inner shadow while it is hovering so let's see uh, whether it is getting impact or not so it is getting impact on all so no need to uh, means uh, do in a single uh, card directly we can implement on the component side and it will get impacted so same way here icons we can uh, add more icons uh, if we need so in the same manner we can swap the icon and the uh, next is a uh, tab already i have explained like uh, how to add more variant and this uh, date the same way this is the toggle effect which is given which is like um, interaction is given here so this file is uh, uploaded in uh, figma community you can use that so how is the easiest trick i think everyone aware about this uh, but the manner of like um, arranging the files and all uh, this is the easiest way i used to follow this so how is the trick please write on the comment for today thank you thank you very much